I mean, I don't go to as many. This is my second. Good to go? Yep. Hi, guys. Um, I played Dragon Rulers here in Virginia. Um, I just played one of each dragon. <laughs> Three Kree Bandits. I really just wanted to focus on getting out of the early game. Um, so I just decided that maxing out on this would be the like most consistent way to do that. How many people did you see running uh, Kree Bandit and Dragons? Uh, honestly, not as many as I would have expected. I think this card's really good. Yeah, I did too. Um, I played Debris. I really wanted to play a minimal number of uh, just tuners in general because like when you draw them without the um, without the draw cards, it just leads to really bad hands. So I kind of wanted to minimize that. I didn't play. Uh, I didn't play um, Influence Dragon. I didn't play. I only played one of each Blue Eyes uh, thing, um, so that you just like can't dead draw a lot. Um, I played two Flambell Guards. Uh, when I cut the Blue Eyes to one. Um, we needed the uh, extra normal to send off Dragon Shrine. Um, then uh, two water dragons and one tree. Um, the waters go with um, they go with Scrap Dragon and they go with Trade In. So like they just have like a lot more synergy in the deck than this card mm -hmm. does. And like he does he just like doesn't do as much. Um, How far is it? Then the last monsters I played were three Maxi. How did Maxi play for you? Uh, honestly, it was really bad. Uh, I played my first uh, Mirror Match in top eight uh, when I played against Desmond. Uh, Desmond and I worked on the deck together, and I thought it was really cool that like we both made uh, and then he, top eight or better with it. And then he beard off. <laughs> um, so yeah, Maxi was just not that good. I, honestly, I was scared. It seemed like I was going to be like underprepared for the Mirror because. We felt like everybody was going to be manning Maxi and Vanity's Emptiness, mm -hmm. and like as it turned out, like when I played um, when I played Desmond, uh, since we were pretty much playing the same deck, he wasn't playing Vanity's, and when I played against Alex in the finals, he didn't main deck Maxi's, so I guess that was good um, that no one went really really hard for the mirror. Um, for the spells, I played three soul charge. This card's insane. It's good. Um, <laughs> <Same release. laughs> yeah, it's very, very strong. Um, three up star, gold sark, uh, foolish burial, um, and then three dragon shrines. What a lot of people don't do is when you have Kree Bandit, um, they'll just go ahead and play this. Uh, what we decided that we would do most of the time is that we would just hold this or Foolish whenever we have Kree Bandit because then it'll just keep the most dragons in our deck that we can mill. Um, so that would obviously be really good. Uh, played one sword. Is that good? I saw some people not running it. Um, I mean, it's really only good like when you have it in yeah. your opening hand, straight draw it with a Dragon Roller. But Dragon Rollers themselves kind of like create brick hands, so it was just kind of to get out of those more. Um, you can't you can't really avoid playing the draw cards like as much as I really wanted to I really wanted to like minimize these but um, the deck's just not good enough without them I guess you use the same ratio that Alex used at uh, Vegas yeah um, did you play sword um, I'm not sure I, I guess these are like all very similar though yeah um, we cut targets for it though yeah we we just cut the targets because like the targets were bad early game and these were bad late game because you don't really like want to banish a dragon to go search for to make one of these cards yeah, exactly. live um but we decided that uh dragons have just like a naturally good late game so i'll take dead drawing these late game when i just have like a guaranteed good early game between Kree bandits sword and then the draw cards you contribute it for uh heliopolis right like what? You, can't you like discard from your hand no, uh, it, has it has to be a monster oh okay I'm, but you can discard from wing blast <laughs> um and the last card was burial this card's very strong too. Best card. Yeah. Um, I ran something different actually. I ran Gores over one of the defensive cards he's about to mention now. Uh, he ran triple wing blast. I ran one wing blast, one more decky break, and a Gores because I anticipated. I didn't anticipate mirrors because I didn't think people would be strong enough to play this deck. And Gores um, right decky break actually just gets over vanities better. And that's where wing blast. I saw you tribute some of the Gores. Oh, actually, I did. <laughs> That's yeah, how bad it was. Um, <laughs> it wasn't bad then. I just didn't want Gores for the mirror match. Like, I don't know. I thought it would I thought it would be good other than in the mirror match, but um, 
I was going to be more focused. I felt like this deck was just going to be better than like most of the other decks. So if they weren't playing dragons, then I wasn't as concerned about having a card that was like super strong against them. I'd rather just like have cards that are really good against dragons. Um, which is why I just maxed out on the Wing Blast instead of doing anything else. And then... Uh, That's why he won, and I didn't. <laughs> oh, there's also good in the house. Uh, played Compulsory, also just for dragons, oh, pretty much. Compulsory but is really we good in dragon formats. It is. Um, we couldn't bring ourselves to main deck emptiness, just because, like... It's bad against them. Even though it's good against dragons, if you draw it when they're already winning, it's not good, and you could just play other things, like Compulsory or the third Wing Blast, that would be good if you draw it when they're winning, so... And the last card we played was Provincial. Was he debated cutting? Not seriously, I don't think. Maybe, no. I, no. maybe it was. Who knows. Um, for the extra deck, we played two Drago Sack. He will. Um, one Big Eye. Uh, Gaia Charger. I, games. Yeah, so the three That's cards, I don't think this extra deck is very um, tight. Uh, these were like essentially just like three cards that we didn't need, only really needed like the, the 12 other ones. So we decided that the last three cards were just gonna be cards to just steal games uh, from the Dragon Mirror. And so Gaia to attack over Dragosac tokens after they soul charged. Um, Dragon to just like take dragons after you max see them and then just like attack for game because he couldn't still attack uh, the turn he takes a monster. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Whatever this is called. <laughs> I have no idea. Number 15. Brian, um, giant grinder. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this, card, this card was actually the best of all three. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, in the finals against Alex, uh, I went. I popped his tokens, and then he had double Drago Sacks on the field after soul charging. And I just popped the Drago Sacks, and then he took 26 for each. Um, so that was game. And then also, uh, when I played in top four uh, against Girgia, he had um, Girgia next. Alucard and 101 with my Tempest under it. I summon this, um, pop the Gearigan X, it misses timing because of the burn damage, and then I um, attacked, or er, uh, popped the 101 as well, and then so I detached my Tempest, so I brought it back and attacked over his, uh, just his field, and then, uh, like, I don't know, I was just in a really strong position after that. Um, and I played Heliopolis, I probably summoned this card more than I summoned Felgrin, honestly, just because you can, like, if you uh, start with him, and then you can just pop their back row, and then like they can't win. Like you're bringing back dragons, and they're playing. They're usually like playing a deck that doesn't keep up with free cards. Yeah. Yeah. So like popping their back row, and then they're just kind of out of the game. Uh, and then Felgrand, Star Eater, Azure. This card's really good in the mirror because the only out to it in the mirror is um, for them to make uh, Star Eater. And for that to happen, then they have to give up their whole battle phase. They can't really do anything else. It's a really good card. It is a good Maybe. card. Um, Scrap Dragon. We debated playing two of this, but like every time I needed the second one, I just kind of like win more. I, yep. I, I say needed. I didn't really need it. It was the point. Was that? Yeah, like it, it would come up, but never in a situation where I could just do something else. So who did it's next to up on the wolf. Yeah. More <laughs> uh, Stardust. Stardust Spark. Colossal and Crimson Blader. I, I missed Black Rose multiple times. I wish I played it. Um, and then for the side deck, um, two Medi on the Time Lords. Uh, we played this against uh, Evil Swarm, the Mirror when we went second, and the Mermails when we went second. Um, so that uh, whenever we decided it against any deck that could Soul Charge, it's turn one. So that if Mermails made Bahama Tried Engineer, we would have an out to that. And then in the mirror, they could soul charge and then put up like multiple synchros, and this would just be an out to that. And it's also an out to uh, start a Spark Dragon and Vanity's Emptiness. Um, and then obviously against Evil Swarm. So it was just like really good all around. Um, one Scarecrow. It was funny. <laughs> I was talking with Fraser about this. I, I didn't actually side this in against either you or Alex. And I was just like, they know it's there because the deck lists are public. So hopefully if I max these, they won't try and kill me. And it worked. Like, when I originally put it in my side deck, it was for the mirror. And then, like, as it went on, I just decided I didn't like it very much in the mirror. So um, I decided I was just upsiding it and then hope they wouldn't try and kill me because they knew it was there. Um, what? I tried to kill you. <laughs> you did try to deck you tried out. You tried to deck me out, man. <laughs> that was crazy. Uh, 3MST, just for floodgate cards. 
um, two Encore for Ophion. Bottomless uh, for the mirror, but I only side of the mirror when I go first. Um, two Blackhorn for Gyrgya, two Skill Drain, and two Vanity's Emptiness. Right. And that's the entire deck. Alright, any last words? Nope. Feels good <laughs> to win. Congratulations <laughs> on your third win at Fourth. Energy. Oh, it's, it's just their winning. Fourth win. Yep. Alright, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>